you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. It's beautiful. I have to ask, you know, I, I've, I don't believe that there's a lot of, and there may be recorded footage mm. of occurring. It's weird, it's so. come up a lot into this one. No, there really isn't. So I think it was one audio, but we couldn't get it, and I think it might even just have disappeared, which was supposedly a BBC archive interview with him. But. So you have a very specific voice for him, though, and yeah. I'm, I'm curious, what was your inspiration for that? Uh, the, there's that a lot of, lot of oral accounts and written accounts mm. of, of him. I mean, not his oral account, but, you know, people describing what he sounded like. And so I worked off that. I mean, I went to quite an extreme in rehearsals, which was almost too much. He had, you know, he had a, a, a sort of a stutter like that. Mm. And he, he had a high-pitched voice as well. So he would sort of, the stutter would sort of come out and the anxiety would tone the pitch up. And, um, you know, so I played with that. And there were moments of that in the, in the film. But um, you also have to make a film where people aren't, their ears aren't being too sort of asymmetrically jangled by the sound to actually appreciate the complexities of what's what the ideas of the film and the character of the film is. So uh, that was that was a sort of continual work in progress. I had great help with it with brilliant Sarah Shepherd, who's a, a, a dialect coach with his stammer and stutter, and I've worked with her playing Julian Assange with the Australian accent, his very particular mm. Australian accent, and and Morton as well. And um, you know, we all had the same thing, which was we wanted to honour the integrity of who he apparently was, but also realise that we're giving him to an audience that wouldn't have known him, wouldn't have heard him, and therefore there's an element of a blank canvas, but you still want to hold on as hard as you can to something of what you've heard he's like, uh, and, and, and uh, research with the pragmatism of what that and then means in performance. He's such a complex character, and, yeah. and, and the screenplay can only sort of, you know, take so much without yeah. really having talked yeah. to him. Yeah. Was there anything you read, was there anything you heard about him that made you believe that, you know, deep down he knew that sometimes he may have come across as sort of like too harsh or too cold or whatever, or I think you know he. I think he was very self-aware. I think you know there's this idea that he was a sort of eccentric genius who chained his mug to the wall and would sort of just walk down corridors with his head down. I, all of his behaviour to me is born out of circumstance. He's not someone I think who was uh, just like that at birth. You know, it was mm -hmm. born out of the influences on him, the influence of his environment and people in his environment. So, for example, when he was a child, from the beginning of his life to four, he was with adopted, he was with foster parents. And that's when his stutter began. His parents were away in India, they were part of the diplomatic corps, came back, and his, his mother was sort of flabbergasted to see that her child was stammering, you know. And even right at the end, the suffering he went through with the estrogen injections, he managed to turn that experience into an understanding of um, um, morphogenesis, the study of the mutation of cells. Hmm. I, you know, he turned that that horrible, horrific stripping of his personality, of his um, of his of his faculty, of his body, into science, into an, an understanding that he could communicate to other people to help. Uh, you know, that field of, of of work. I mean, so he was remarkable in that respect. So, yeah, those are those are the things that I hold true to as an actor when you make a discovery with a character, and and I think they are really fleshed out in any account of him as well. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.